Hello, I'm David Mello, Supervisor of Children's Services here at the Fall River Public Library. And this, this is my teddy bear, Lewis. And my first story that I'd like to share with you is about a teddy bear named Lewis. Now, you may think that teddy bears have an easy life, but they have a rather huge responsibility, as we'll see in this story. Lewis, by Tom Lichtenfield, illustrated by Julie Rowan Zock. And it is published by Hooten Mifflin Harcourt Publications. From day one, things have gone downhill. I've been a pillow, a hanky, a lunch for a prehistoric beast. I've been buried alive and thrown into a hurricane. And I've been hung out to dry. I've been left to the mercy of wild animals, poked by needles and made an accessory to a crime. I've been x-rayed, milk sprayed, and mislaid. I can bear it no longer. The next time this kid squeezes me, I am out of here. Well, no sense running away in the rain. But as soon as little sister wraps up this party, I'm packing my bags. Meanwhile, I need to build up my strength for the getaway. Seriously, right after we do our show-and-tell routine, I'm history. I know. I know we're awesome. Okay, this is perfect. The minute the light goes out, I'm off like a dirty shirt, making like a tree, and leaving. Uh-oh. You think he's really going to leave? Let's see. The light's out. Okay! Now! Is he going? Let's see. Come on, Lewis, you silly bear, says the little boy. On second thought, a bear could do worse. So as tough as it might be for Lewis sometimes, a bear's life, especially in the hands of someone that really loves him isn't really that bad at all. And that's 
Lewis. Now, for my next story, I'd like to produce a rabbit out of my magical hat. Can we say the words together? Okay, wave your hands along with me. Abra, Cadabra, and <gasps> I did it! And now, let's do a little more magic with our next story, Hat Tricks. You'll see a really fabulous magical hat in this story by Satoshi Kitamura. Hat Tricks, published by Peachtree Books. What do we have here? <gasps> I see two ears. Do you think that's a rabbit? Let's find out. It's a rabbit in a hat. But it's not just any rabbit. And it's not just any hat. It's Hattie the Magician. And this is her hat. So welcome, everyone, to Hattie's Magic Show. Let's say the magic words with Hattie. Abracadabra, katakuriko, what's in the hat? Let's see. It's a cat. What will be next? Let's see the magic words again, along with me now. Abracadabra, catacocurico, what's in the hat? Uh, what could it be? It's a squirrel. Abracadabra, catacocurico, what's in the hat? What could it be? Could it be a tail? Could it be a snake? Let's turn the page and see. <gasps> it's an octopus! Abracadabra, catacocurico, what's in the hat? <gasps> Ooh, what could that be? Any idea? Let's turn the page and see. Hmm, I have no idea. <gasps> it's a moose! However, did that moose fit in the hat? Well, it is magic. What else could be in that magical hat? Let's see. Abracadabra, catacocurico, what's in the hat? <gasps> I bet you know what that is. Let's see. We'll turn the page. We'll see if you're right. Why, it's an elephant. Look at that. He fit in the hat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But elephant is stuck. Oh, 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 it Hurts. Okay, let's pull him out. One, two, three, heave, and kaboom! All fall down. Well, at least they got him out of the hat. <sighs> Well, now the hat must be empty. It must be. But is it? Let's see. <gasps> wow! Wow! Look! 
looks what look what's come out of that hat now. It's a whole new world of friends. Look at that. How marvelous. What a grand finale. Bravo, Hattie. Bravo, Hat. Why, that was quite an incredible magic hat. And thank you for your help at home, too. Now, my next story is about a fellow named Bob. And Bob, he lives in a very peculiar town. You see, everybody who lives in this town is called Bob. And everyone, everyone is exactly the same. Now you might think at first, that's pretty cool, but imagine how boring it would get. And this story is called, Welcome to Bobville by Jonah Winter and illustrated by Bob Stake. And it is published by Random House Books. And there's the sign, Welcome to Bobsville. In Bobville, where everyone was named Bob, Everyone looked exactly the same. Of course, sometimes this made things confusing. When everyone looks exactly the same, how do you tell each other apart? How do you even know who you are? For the Bob of Bobville, the answer was simple. You're Bob, just like everyone else. On the one hand, this was great because, well, you never had to memorize anyone's name. You just knew it in advance. Hi, how are you, Bob? Oh, you know. Same old, same old, how about you, Bob? On the other hand, life could get a little dull. But mostly, these Bobs just loved being exactly the same. Every day, the Bobs of Bobville all got up at exactly the same time they ate the same food. They had the same hobbies. They thought the same thoughts. If one Bob was thinking, I'd rather be fishing. You could bet your life that all the other Bobs were thinking that too. They listened to the same music. They went to the same movies. They even went to bed at exactly the same time and had the same dreams. How boring. They read the same books and they all agreed on everything, especially this. They did not like anyone not named Bob. They had heard on the news that such ple people existed. And on BNN News, breaking news, Bob News, more people not named Bob discovered. Oh my goodness. How shocking. And they all looked different. 
People not named Bob had never been a problem until one very interesting day. There was a certain Bob who woke up a little later than all the other Bobs, thinking, I'm sick of the name Bob. I want to change it to Bruce. <gasps> What's going to happen? And so he did. He also thought, I think I'll get my hair today. I, I think I'll gel my hair today. And so he did. And I hate these clothes. I want new, colorful ones. And so he ordered some. He just felt like it, you know. Look. The next time he left the house, he looked different from all the Bobs of Bobville. And, of course, his name was now Bruce. How do you think this is going to go over with the other Bobs? Let's see. This did not go over well. What kind of name is Bruce? All the other Bobs shouted. It's not Bob. And what's with those weird clothes? A town council was formed to discuss the matter. It was decided that the person formerly known as Bob should be kicked out of town. So Bruce was booted out of Bobville while the Bobs got busy building a wall. After all, they needed to make sure this Bruce, or Bryce, or whatever he called himself, couldn't get back in. A wall would also be useful for keeping out other not-Bobs. But, guess what? Turns out, there was a big, exciting world outside of Bobville. And while the Bobs of Bobville lived behind the huge wall they'd built around themselves, <gasps> Bruce lived happily ever after. And so it looks like Bruce discovered a whole brand new exciting world out there. I think I like his name better as Bruce too. And that's Welcome to Bobville. Well, I hope you enjoyed these stories. I certainly enjoyed sharing them with you. And if you'd like to check out these stories and, and other wonderful books at the Fall River Public Library, just give us a call at 508-324-2700, extension 4, and make an appointment to come by and choose some wonderful books to share with your family at home. And again, thank you very much for listening.